Hello guys. Today we are going to use um, a recycled bottle to and make a little cup. And then we're going to put some water in it and we're going to use green onions, but just the bottom half where the roots are. I already did this and look how it looks. We are going to wait until it fully grows and then we'll see what happens. We're just going to put it on the side. Now we are thinking of another idea. Wait! Where do we put the sponge? We can use another cup. We can cut it out and then it can act like the sponge holder. This is a great idea for people who do not have this but have a lot of recycled bottles. Now we are going to use eggshells. They smell bad, but we're going to use them. We are going to crunch them up. It's going to take a long time. We're just going to add some in there. Then we're going to use a spoon and we're going to crunch it. Just saying. So we are going to speed it up, and then we are going to see what happens next. Down with my girls, they do blow when we out in the snow. But you'll only ever catch them on the pieces of the show, yeah. Now we are going to use coffee grounds. It also smells bad, and we're going to take some and put it with our eggshells. This mixture can be known as a fertilizer for soil and it can make it good for the little seedlings or if you're trying to plant something, you can put that in there. We're going to mix it up. It's going to be more crunch now, so we're going to also have to, we can't eat it, we're also going to have to crunch it up and mix it up. Now let's show you how it looks right now. It looks really bad, but it's fine. Now that we have it, we are going to grab some dirt in a little plastic cup. We are going to go outside in the hot sun. Now, look at how this dirt looks. It looks so dry. It looks bad. Well, we're going to grab some and put it into a little plastic cup. Now that we have enough, we are going to go back into the house. Transition! Okay, now that we're back into the house, we are going to use the dirt and put it into our fertilizer, but we are not going to use all the fertilizer. We're going to put some of it into a little cup. Not in a little cup, in a little container. So we're only going to have a little bit, so we don't waste a lot. Now we are going to add our dirt and put it in there. We're going to get every single bit, and then we're going to wash it out and put water in there. You're going to see what this is at the end. Don't worry, it'll look really nice. Then we're going to mix the dirt with the fertilizer. This also takes time because it all needs to be thoroughly in there. We're going to add some more fer fertilizer so it can be very, very, very fertilized. But then I realize I don't need a Now we are going to show you how it looks so far. This mixture can help a lot of plants and seedlings. Now we are going to take the top part of the water bottle and make a little hole so that we can stick a string in here. We are going to take a little piece of string, probably like 6 inches or even less. And then we're going to cut it. Now we're going to try to put it in the hole. This takes a long time because there's a small little hole and it's probably a bigger string. Pretty bigger string. 
but now that I got it in, then we are going to put the string in the water. Okay, and you'll see what it is in a minute. They say it's we are going to tie it up so then it doesn't get loose. And have me ready for you. But then I realize I don't need a wish to. As you can see, it's tight on there, and now we are going to put it in the water. We're going to take some water out, not too much. Now, this could be also known as a watering, as a self-watering pot. The string can absorb some of the water and give it to the roots of the little seedling. We're going to add some dirt or re-fertilized now we're going to make a little hole and we're gonna put should we put spinach or lettuce but first we need to wash our hands because it's very very important spinach or lettuce which one spinach we're going to add a small little seed in there We're going to make a little incision and put the seedling in there. Now we're going to cover it. And that's your self watering pot. As you can see, the soil gets watered by the string that absorbs the water. Now we're just going to put it inside. Hello, guys, again. Now we are going to take some vegetable scraps that I used because when my mom makes some soup or whatever, some, some food, she gives me the vegetable scraps and I just use it for my insects because I have leopard gecko and they love to eat insects so I just use it to give them food because they need to be gut loaded. Today we are going to give them some carrots. We have some crickets and some mealworms today. They say it takes time to warm my mind and have me ready for you. But then I have to put the carrots into I the don't little need a crickets to fluff it through. Pink. And we're also going to put it in the beetles. Why you desire me up every season? Lick up the spatula and keep it. Recycle them so you can give them to insects or probably your lizards, or you can also put them in a compost, which can then be used as fertilizer for soil. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you for sticking with me and watching me help and recycle things that I have at my house. Now we're going to take the other water bottles that I have and we're going to put them in our recycled bin. You should always recycle but then I realize I don't need a to As you can see, this is Waste Pro, which is a recycling bin. As you can see, it says, recycling for our future. Well, that's it, guys. Now let's go back inside and not be in this hot sun. Thanks for sticking with us. Now, guys, let's just say, please recycle. It's very important. And also, happy.